GPU pricing dropping like a fly, new NVIDIA hack details popping up, and the Steam Deck already drifting. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're gonna be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. Hold up. Wait a minute. And just before we get into the hot news, don't forget that we have our weekly meme review over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple happening now as this video goes live, 9 a.m. Eastern. Come join us over there in case you want to laugh at memes, rate them, or just berate everybody else. Mm. We're going to start off today talking about something that I think you all want to hear, which is GPU pricing is plummeting. At least it's average sale price that we're seeing over on places like eBay in the month of February. On average, GPU price is dropped 11% across the love month. Don't you love it? That's what it's called, the love month. Why are you looking at me like that? So these GPU prices are indicative of the actual street pricing. What you see scalpers are buying the cards for and then selling them to you directly, the uh, chum who's buying them up. But we are seeing that the prices are coming down. So on average, across all companies, AMD and Nvidia, we're seeing lower GPU prices. The top end RTX 3090 is down 10.2%. The RTX 3070 Ti down 15.5%. The RTX 3050 down 15.5% from 539 to 455 on its average January to average February sale price. We're even seeing this across Team AMD. The 6900 XT down 7%. The 6800 down 10.2%. The 6500 XT seeing the sharpest decline going from 365 average dollars in January to 272 average in February. We're even seeing this on previous generation cards. The RTX 20 series, the GTX 16 series, 2080 down 11.4%. The GTX 1650 Super going down from 311 average price to 265 and even previous AMD generations like the 5700 XT down 12%. The 5500 XT is probably the GPU that changed the least with it only being down 2% in February from where it was in January, but still actually pretty good to see overall. However, it is good to keep in mind that these are just the street pricing of what you're going to find if you were trying to go buy a card right today on an open retail market. This is still 35% higher than MSRP, but it is lower than what it was in January. And I want to hear from you down below in the comments. Have you been seeing this as you're looking for GPUs, are the prices lower for you? Or number two, is there a certain price threshold that you're waiting for until you buy a graphics card? Does it have to be at MSRP or do the lower prices just mean that you're gonna be potentially looking to be buying in the next few months? Sound off down below. But while we got lower GPU prices, we also got UFD deals back. Reese finally taking over UFD deals completely so that we can have it done on a regular basis. And boy, howdy, it's a good first one, okay? AMD's chips on sale, 5900 X down to $450 over on Amazon. The 5600X is going for $270 right now, plus a $45 promo code to be at just $225, which is not a bad price at all. In case you're looking for a refurbished Apple Mac Mini with an M1 chip that's going for $500 over on eBay, and the Razer Death Adder V2 is going for $35 over on Amazon. In case you're looking to pick all of those up, we have the UFD Deals website linked in the video description, as well as all of the deals that we're talking about today. But let's now talk about pricing that's going up. Crypto stonks Bitcoin up 5.75% on the day to increase to almost $44,000. As we've mentioned previously, it does look like the geopolitical instability is leading to a rise in cryptocurrency prices. Ethereum also up 5.11% to be at just shy of $3,000 and Dogecoin up 3.6% to be at 13.3 cents. And what does not seem to be down is Nvidia Spirits. We've talked in previous episodes of Hot News about how they were hacked by a group called Lapus, who is actually trying to extort them to get them to drop the mining limiters that are on the RT. X30 series cards and Nvidia is now coming out and addressing this to the public saying that yes, we have been hacked. However, all right, it's a cybersecurity incident, but we've hardened our network, further hardened the network, engaged cybersecurity incident response experts and notified law enforcement and that this will not disrupt their business or their ability to serve their customers. And in fact, this will just be totally fine and security is a continuous process that they take very seriously at Nvidia and they invest in the protection and quality of their codes and products daily. So it does look like Nvidia has 
just thinking that regardless of whatever they took, it's not going to be mission critical. However, we are starting to get new leaks coming out of what it appears to be like those hackers are submitting these leaks out into publications out in the wild. And some of them, including the next generation of GPUs being called Blackwell, as well as giving us the distinction of what Hopper, Ada Lovelace and Blackwell are going to be. It does look like Ada Lovelace is going to be a gaming architecture of GPUs, where as Hopper and Blackwell are going to be on the compute side. We also have more details of what the RTX 40 series chips are going to look like 8102, 8103, 8104, 8106, 8107, and 8100B not 108, which is important. But I think more importantly than just architecture names, it looks like the source code to DLSS is getting leaked with files now popping up across the internet, as well as threats by the leakers to actually release all of the files, as well as a programming guide for DLSS that contain roughly everything that NVIDIA is doing in order to make DLSS work. Also included in this is potentially some hints towards a pro version of one of the handheld consoles that's out there that might include DLSS. However, that's been a rumor that's been floating out ever since the first one came out. And so it does look like there might be weight to this, but it also might look like there's some information in here that's not necessarily going to pan out in the future, but might have just been part of a roadmap of NVIDIA at one point or another. But let me know what you think of the NVIDIA hack down below in the comments. Is there anything that you want to see come of this hack from NVIDIA? Like whether it's information that you want to see or if there's a response you want NVIDIA to give, or is there a, just a, a, a different way of going about this that you want to see. I want to hear from you down below. And what people don't want to see is them spending four to six hundred and fifty dollars on a portable handheld gaming console and then only have it for a week before the joystick starts to drift. But that does appear to be happening to some people who have the early samples of the Steam Deck, as you can see in this video right here, as they let go of this, the joystick, you can see that it is indeed drifting and it registering movement even when the joystick's not being pressed. This is something that happens on essentially every single joystick that's out on the face of the earth. There's no way to actually prevent this from ever happening, but hopefully Valve does take a good response to this so that you can have some comfort in the fact that if this does happen, they don't take the stance of nothing's wrong with your console. Screw you. We're just not going to fix it, which again, I hope is not going to happen, especially as they're confirming that they are ramping up production of the Steam Deck and that they should be in the hundreds of thousands of units being produced by next month, which is something that I'm very excited for. People at Valve are saying that they've had to delay the launch of the Steam Deck for supply reasons and there continues to be issues, but they're surmounting them with them. Also say that while there is that after Q2 timeline, they're going to get more granular and give you more details about when your Steam Deck is going to be shipping, especially as they should have the tens of thousands of units being produced this month and then hundreds of thousands being produced next month. Hopefully we should have a time frame by hopefully by the end of the year, you just walk into a store and pick up a Steam Deck, but probably it'll just be sold on Steam store. So do you just want to impulse buy a Steam Deck? Hopefully that'll be for holidays this year. But let me know when you want to get your Steam Deck down below in the comments. I'm, I'm heavily waiting for it. And I'm not waiting for this episode of Hot News to go on any longer. I'm done. It's, it's, it's got, see you tomorrow for more tech news, my friends. Chips.